let's hear some noise. In row number five, ladies and gentlemen, it's the 26 of Andrew Thomas. On his outside, it's the 37 of Roger Beaujoli. Row six, got the 21C of Cole Mandiuk and the 55 of Bryce Sexton. Row seven, it's the 75 of Russ Hudson and the 13 of Jim Maholland. Row eight, it's the 16 of Evan Schroeder and the 79 of Bell Messier. Row nine, it's the 33A of o Austin Overwater and the 08 of Jasmine Hicks. In row 10, it's the 44R of Rob Reese and the 55X of Mark Sexton and the 3T of Trevor Rambo is at the back end. One to green in the Pure Stock Final here for the sixth annual Big Al Deline Memorial. Get ready for this one, ladies and gentlemen. 21 cars, plenty of great action as we get ready to go racing. We've got a green flag and we are racing. Fifteen laps on the board. Ethan Friesen got a great jump and made it three wide with the rat Delane. Derek Crocker. Pollock still in second spot. Look at that jumble for third, fourth, and fifth, and all oh, the 33 almost loses control. Oh, we got some sparks with the 21 as he hits the wall. Your leader in this one is driving the 3D, but he is side by side with the 2T. That's John Friesen and Derek Pollock. Going to the inside now, trying to find his way around. It's the other three. Ethan Friesen. <laughs> yeah. It's Pollock followed by Friesen and Friesen. The 21 now, Brett Proctor trying to make his way up. Delane is in fifth with the 33. And we've got the brothers Sexton moving their way through the field. They started near the back, they're up in mid-pack. 11 laps to go in this race. Derek Pollock, still your leader, coming around turn four. What a great race, cars moving around everywhere. Kevin Delane and McRae now, they're battling for what looks to be like fifth spot, pardon me, sixth spot, with another Delane in front of him, Rod the Rat. Your top four though, they're a nice tight bunch as they're fighting for that first spot. Pollock, though, still holding on to it with nine laps to go. Oh, contact. Some great racing in this one. Now it's Ethan Friesen making a jump on Pollock. Friesen goes to the inside. He rubs paint with Pollock. Pollock holds on as he's coming around four. They're slowly catching up to lap traffic. Brett Proctor in third spot. John Friesen falls back to fourth. Delane, he loses the fifth spot. Gives that one up to the nine of McRae. Oh, baby. Look at them. Bumper to bumper as they go 
ball across the line. Six Whoa. to go. Wall pointed the wrong way coming out of four. We got a car on the front stretch. You saw what happened there, Rennie? Uh, no, not until it was already in action. Wall was already facing the wrong way when I saw it. We are going to get a yellow flag. Ladies and gentlemen, if you own a black Dodge Ram with the license plate WJ0593, that's WJ0593, a black Dodge Ram, your car alarm is going off right now. Adventure Power Products, your one-stop power sports shop for Power Sports, Lawn and Garden, Motorcycles and Marine, just seven minutes south of Winnipeg on Highway 59 in Ile de Chaine. those cars right now ladies and gentlemen and get ready to go modified race uh, pardon me pure stock racing i'm so excited about the modifieds i'm just i can't wait ready i can't yeah, wait yeah i'll 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 love them all so <laughs> let's give these guys their due let's let them shake out the rest of their seven laps before we get on to the modifieds this is going to get interesting here last year it was kevin delane driving the 1k who won the pure stock race this year, the man out in front so far is the 2T of Derek Pollock. Can he hold on? They're coming around four. Pedal to the metal, we're racing. Four wide and turn two. Some great driving. Our leaders though, they jump out a little bit. Pollock still up in front, followed by Friesen. The other Friesen, though, right behind him. Oh, McCray gets into the lane. Oh, boy. Couple of tough nights for Les McCray, and tonight's another one of them. Tough break for McCray. Looks like uh, he's leaking a bit. That probably means his night's done. Not the way he wanted his Aldelaine Memorial to end. You better believe it. Normally just some paneling, not so bad. Rip it off, keep going, but not tonight. Tow truck's coming out, so you know that's not good news for him. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be drawing for the 50-50 momentarily just before the interview at the end of the race. $860 for the winner tonight. 860 
If the winner wants to sponsor a super, uh, super <laughs> truck, I'd be happy to uh, put your family name on <laughs> for a percentage of the purse. I, I think there's 96 drivers at the track tonight that would agree with that exact same <laughs> statement about their own program. <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right, yeah, probably. There, there, there's a few more, though, that they're just writing down their taxable income anyway. <laughs> Dufresne is a proud to sponsor Red River Croft Speedway at Dufresne. It's our responsibility to give back to the communities that continue to support us. After all, our communities are where our teams, families, and guests work, live, and race. Visit us online at Dufresne.ca for all your home furnishing needs and for the location nearest to you. Dufresne Furniture and Appliances, a better experience. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, next week, AFCO Race of Champions here at Red River Co-op Speedway. It is going to be a great night. Plenty of action here at the track. Plus, we will be honoring our Hall of Fame people. One of them being Big Al Delane. Plus, you don't want to miss our annual pie eating contest. Well, they are getting one to green, so we'll be going racing here momentarily, ladies and gentlemen. Well, looks like Kevin Delane's got some work to do if he wants to repeat for the Big Al Delane Memorial. He's in the fourth row, which is considered to be the sixth spot in this race on the inside. Plenty of great racers in front of him, so. He has his work cut out for him with seven laps to go. Coming around four, we are going green. Again, we're three wide in turn three and four. Derek Pollock, still your leader, freezing hot on his heels. The 21 of Brett Proctor, he's in third spot, followed by Rod the Rack the Lane. Now it's the 44, they're three wide going into four. Wow, some great racing. Oh, and Delane gets tangled up with the 44, and Kevin Delane. They all hold on, though. Wow, that was close. That was close, but we've got a yellow. Oh, somebody moved the U-tire out onto the racing surface. Whoa, under caution. That 44 is bouncing off everybody on the front side. The 33... Just drove over one of the Sextons under caution. Are you looking for unbeatable prices and special offers on superior quality car parts and accessories? Get to your local Napa Auto Parts store. This month, we are offering Max Tire Shine Foam for just $4.49 regularly priced at 849 intense foam activates on contact safely lifting dirt away without scrubbing conditioners nourish and restore your tires deep black look to take advantage of this and other great bargains visit your nearest napa store we keep your car young for a long time
you see our clock ticking down, which I believe that means once that hits zero, the next caution, we will be going. When the next caution happens, we'll be, uh, yellow gets you the black. So if you cause a caution, even if it's your first one, you're going to the pits and we're running single file and we would likely end in green, white checkered. As Derek Pollock leads the field, the round to come to green. Green flag. <laughs> Looks like we are yellow again, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, one to go. And as previously mentioned, looks like we're setting up single file for a green-white checkered. Not the way necessarily the boys wanted to finish it. If you're anybody other than Derek Pollock, I don't think he'll be disappointed with that decision. If you are gonna make a move, now is the time to do it. As soon as you get around that pylon, they're going. Still your leader, Friesen in second, followed by the 21 of Proctor. The other Friesen in fourth, followed by Rob Reese in fifth. And Rob Reese jumped the start. He actually passed Rod the Rat, the lean, before the cone. It'll be interesting to see how they score his finishing spot. The 2T of Pollock, still your leader, Friesen, has one half a lap to make a move. Battle for six is three wide, as is the battle for third. It is coming down to the wire. Oh, it's close. Oh. We might have to get a transponder measurement. That was close. From my angle, it looked like Friesen may have taken that one. Wow, we. No matter what, what a great finish for the fans in this one. You know, I. When they line up single file like that, that's not always the way the finish goes, but that's the way Ethan Friesen scripted it. That's for sure, he'll take that. And it's official, timing and scoring says Friesen with the win, 2T, Derek Pollock second. That's the way the rest of our night's going to finish. It looks like we're going to have a heck of a show here, guys. Midwest Mods just waiting on the back stretch and staging there to come out and try and give another show. In the meantime, Mr. Friesen celebrating his victory by little more than a hair. I couldn't even call that a nose. Congratulations to the Ethan, Ethan Friesen. Give him a big hand, everybody. Help him get out of that race car.
Well, Rennie, I'll take over here for right now because as Ethan is getting out of the car, we do have a special interview with me right now from the Winnipeg Police Service. Ken Waskala, Ken, thanks for joining us here tonight. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing with the community. Uh, basically tonight we're just uh, showing off our old uh, 1978 Ford LTD. We have our uh, 2012 ca uh, Dodge Charger we want to show off to the people and our new caravan, which is not quite ready to go. It's going to be basically it's a stage kind of trailer. It's going to have all kinds of things inside like a flat screen TV where we can do some presentations and show off some information um, to the public. Uh, get in, make it interactive, bring some of our old uh, gear there from the museum, maybe some of our new gear from our bomb unit, uh, tactical support team, that kind of stuff. Just trying to build those relationships with the community. And they're good relationships. Thank you so much for coming here tonight. Thank you so much for what you guys do with the Winnipeg Police Service. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move over right now to our winner tonight. Wow! Can I say honestly what a show you and Derek Pollock put on tonight? Congratulations, first of all, Ethan. But man, I gotta say, right down to the nose. It's probably down to the transponder where it was on the car, but congratulations. Tell me a little bit about that race and how well it went for you. Uh, the car was just hooking for me. I tried to get around Derek the whole race and I couldn't, and finally I was like, oh, I'm going to try something different last corner. You have to, and just, just barely got there. That restart, nobody thought that Derek would probably lose that spot, but man, you came out of nowhere on that last corner and you made it happen. Uh, must feel pretty good to get that victory, especially on a big night like this on the big Al Delane Memorial. It's awesome. Two nights in a row winning the race. I got to thank the Delanes and all the fans for coming out and all my sponsors for supporting me. And my dad putting me behind the wheel and teaching me how to drive. It's awesome. We love it. Well, thank you so much. Let's get the Delanes out here right now as we present you with a trophy, which is right here, and a check. And of course, we want to get a photo of you here. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for your winner tonight, driving the three, Ethan Friesen. Now, Ethan, don't go spending that all in one place. But tonight, you got to help us with a little bit more money money issues here. Somebody's going to win some money tonight with our 50-50 draw. $860 if you have this winning ticket. Now, you won this last night? Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if this happens again. You didn't win the 50-50. Oh, that would have been too much. Okay, let's go with this. Number one, two, one, three, six, three. One, two, one, three, six, three. If you have the winner, come see this man right here who will get you your winning money. Thank you so much, Ethan Friesen. We'll let you go take a couple pictures with your car. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get ready to go. Midwest Modified Racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Let's make some noise. Up to you, Ronnie Paluco. Take